In today's session, we'll see how to derive values for 22.5 and 67.5 for different trigonometric ratios. In trigonometry, we have to know values of all the six trigonometric ratios for different angles like 0, 30, 45, 60, and 90. Those are the basics. Apart from those, 18, 36, 54, 72, 22.5, and 67.5. Knowing values for these angles would be useful to solve many problems. In today's session, we'll start with this sign 22.5. 22.5 can be related to 45 as 2 times 22.5 is 45. So, if we consider theta to be 45, then theta by 2 is 22.5. Theta by 2 means it's a sub multiple of theta. So, we will consider the sub multiple formulas here. Sine theta by 2 is equal to plus or minus root 1 minus cos theta by 2. If we substitute theta values here, it would be sine 22.5 is equal to plus or minus root 1 minus cos 45 by 2. Cos 45, we know this value to be 1 by root 2. So, we will substitute that value here. Now, in the numerator, take the LCM. This becomes root 2. Here, 1 into root 2 is root 2 minus 1. This entire thing is in numerator upon 2. Now, on further simplification, we will get root 2 minus 1 upon 2 root 2. Now for this if we multiply root 2 on both numerator and denominator that will rationalize the fraction. So we will multiply that root 2 into root 2 is 2 minus 1 into root 2 is root 2 upon here root 2 into root 2 will become 2 and this 2 is also there. So 2 into 2 is 4. The entire thing is under square root. So we will get square root 2 minus root 2 upon 4. Now, if we separate the square root for numerator and denominator separately, it will become root 2 minus root 2 in the numerator and in denominator root 4. So, finally, this can be written as root 2 minus root 2 upon 2. So, this is the value for sine 22.5. So, we will write it down. Now we will use this sine 22.5 to derive value for cos 22.5. For that we will use the Pythagorean identity that is sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equal to 1. If we rearrange that identity it will give cos theta is equal to plus or minus root 1 minus sine squared theta. Now in place of theta if we substitute 22.5 it would be cos 22.5 equal to plus or minus root 1 minus sine square 22.5. Here as this 22.5 would be in the first quadrant, we will consider only positive value. So cos 22.5 is equal to substitute the value of sine 22.5. Now in this, the numerator and denominator, we can square it separately. Then it will become 4 square upon 2 square. 2 square is 4. We will write it down. And in numerator, we have square root. Square of square root means these two will get cancelled. So, we will have 2 minus root 2 in the numerator. On substituting this value, it would be like 1 minus 2 minus root 2 upon 4. Now, take LCM here. Under square root, we will have 4. 1 into 4, this 1 into 4 is 4, minus so 2 minus root 2. Now, if we take minus inside, it will become 4 minus 2 plus root 2 upon 4. 4 minus 2 here, it would be 2. So, in numerator, we will have 2 plus root 2 upon 4. Now, if we take the square root separately for both numerator and denominator, we will get modified like this. And then we will get the final answer to be root 2 plus root 2 is root 2 upon square root of 4 is 2. 
this gives the final value of cos 22.5 the cos 22.5 equal to root 2 plus root 2 upon 2 now we'll use this 22.5 values of sine and cos to get the value for 67.5 we know that sin and cos are complementary functions which means sin theta equal to cos of 90 minus theta. In place of theta if we substitute 22.5 it becomes sin 22.5 equal to cos of 90 minus 22.5. 90 minus 22.5 is 67.5 so sin 22.5 equal to cos 67.5 which is equal to root 2 minus root 2 upon in a similar way, from cos 22.5, we can derive sine 67.5. As both are complementary, cos theta equal to sine of 90 minus theta. So, in place of theta 22.5, that makes cos 22.5 equal to sine 67.5 equal to rho 2 plus rho 2 upon 2. Now, we got the values of sine and cos for 22.5 and 67.5. We will use these values to derive the values for tan 22.5 and tan 67.5. Tan is equal to sine upon cos. So, we will substitute sine 22.5 and cos 22.5 here. So, 2 and 2 will get cancelled. This is like root 2 minus root 2 upon root 2 plus root 2. We will rationalize the denominator so that we have to multiply both numerator and denominator with the same number. And to rationalize, we have to get the conjugate of this. And that can be written like root 2 minus root 2. In place of plus, we have to keep a minus that will give the conjugate. Both numerator and denominator with the same number. So here it is like root a into root a which would be equal to a. So this value and this value are same. That is why we will write it directly as 2 minus root 2. Coming to the denominator, it is like root a into root b, which can be written as root a b. So, the denominator could be like root 2 plus root 2 into 2 minus root 2. Here, this is like x plus y into x minus y, which is nothing but x square minus y square. So, this will get modified like numerator we will write as this. Denominator in place of x we have 2. So, this is all under square root. 2 square minus in place of y we have root 2. Minus root 2 whole square. So, to simplify 2 minus root 2. Under root 2 square is 4. Root 2, two square means 2 only. So, this gives 2 minus root 2 upon 4 minus 2 is root 2. Now the numerator 2 can be written as root 2 into root 2 minus root 2 upon root 2. So if we take root 2 common in numerator, root 2 of root 2 minus 1 upon root 2. We cancel these two and this gives root 2 minus 1 as the value for tan 22.5. We'll write it down tan 22.5 equal to root 2 minus 1. In similar way, we will derive for tan 67.5. So, 67.5 sin upon cos we have to do. Substitute the values of sin and cos. Again, in a similar manner, 2 and 2 will get cancelled. We have to rationalize. This will become upon root 2 minus root 2. So, to rationalize, we will write the conjugate for this. That is nothing but under root. 2 in place of minus write plus root 2. So, with the same thing we have to multiply the numerator as well. In numerator we have same values. So, it is like root a into root a which is nothing but a. So, write the numerator to be 2 plus root 2. Denominator is like root a into root b which is nothing but root a b. But again this is like x minus y and this is like x plus y. So, x minus y into x plus y is x square minus y square. So, directly under root, I am writing in place of x, it is 2. So, 2 square minus in place of y, we have root 2, root 2 whole square. So, 2 plus root 2, under root 2 square is 4. Root 2 square means 2 only. So, it becomes 2 plus root 2, 4 minus 2 is 2. 
अपॉन्टो सो आई एम सेपरेटिंग इट सो दिस टू इज नथिंग बट रूट टू इन टू रूट टू वन रूट टू एंड वन रूट टू विल गेट कैंसिल सो विल हैव रूट टू प्लस इन दिस टर्म रूट टू रूट टू गेट कैंसिल आउट एंड वन विल डिमांड सो रूट टू प्लस वन सो टेन सिक्सटी सेवन पॉइंट फाइव इज इक्वल टू रूट टू प्लस वन नाउ वी हैव डिराइव वैल्यूज फॉर साइन कॉस एंड टेन फॉर एंगल्स ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट फाइव एंड सिक्सटी सेवन पॉइंट फाइव कॉट कैन बी रिटर्न एज रेसिप्रोपल ऑफ टेन सी कैन कैन बी रिटर्न एज रेसिप्रोपल ऑफ कॉस एंड कॉसी कैन कैन बी रिटर्न एज रेसिप्रोपल ऑफ साइन इन दैट वे वी कैन फाइंड द वैल्यूज ऑफ ऑल सिक्स टिक्नोमेटिक रेशियोज फॉर ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट फाइव एंड सिक्सटी सेवन पॉइंट फाइव 